fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Well, we're going to talk about anamorphic 3D images. Exactly that. It's a word that I've never heard of before. But James Sands is here in the studio with us to tell us about this extraordinary app and technology that he's created that basically allows you to create what you see on your screen uh, right now. And these are images that are lying flat on our studio floor but as you can see on your television screen right now, it almost looks 3D and it's coming at you. If I meet you on the street, how do you explain what you've created? I would explain it as a very simple app that could take anything like a figurine. Yes. Or anything that you could actually set up as a shot or do a 3D rendering of. Yes. Go through the app, shoot it in the right way. And once you've finished doing the distortion, you can print that result. When you photograph it again, it is 3D just like the 3D chalk artists that you see all these emails floating about. So your app is called... Uh, iMorph 3D. iMorph 3D. It's available on iOS. It's available on the Android, Android store. Yes. So you literally download the app. Is it a free app or is it... Uh... It's a paid app. Okay. It's a paid app. It's $5.99 on the iOS store. Okay. And I think it's $6.99 on the Android store. Okay, so you basically take something like this. You take a photograph of it using the app, right? Using the app. Okay, and then what happens after that? Well. When you set the shot up, there's, a, there's the first part, which is getting the shot right, yeah. which is basically using a canvas. It's a visual canvas. It's yeah. all, all in the app. It's got a tutorial, which we're busy reworking because it's a bit confusing at the moment. Okay. But you would literally take that, shoot it, select points. You could do it literally in five minutes. Yeah. You select the points, you put in the canvas size that you had. So if it was an A4, it would be 210 by 297. Or if it was something big and it was six meters by two meters, it's just a proportional thing. You select those points, and once you go into the app, you literally, iMorph creates a canvas that you would drag each node to, which forces the perspective. And that's all an anamorphic is, it's a forced perspective. So when you photograph it again from the same an angle, that flat, flat piece of paper, that art, is 3D, it pops up. So once you photograph the image, uh, how do you get it to print to something like that? I mean, this is obviously a very specialized kind of printing. And no, this is, is a normal, expensive? this is a normal print on canvas. This is a normal print from my printer at home. There's no special printing technique. The illusion, the art is the illusion. And the great thing is you can actually interact with it. So anyone who's interacting with the piece yes. once it's at the right angle, if you're interacting with it, everything is at the same perspective. So the real world will interact with the anamorphic piece. So you could, this is great for, for, for brands who want to get out there, who are maybe at an event that want to attract a crowd. That's my next business venture, is to actually have spray paint graffiti artists doing giant pieces live for brands and draw crowds and draw massive attention to their brands. So what's been the reaction so far? Because We've, I mean, this is quite extraordinary. It's been slow going, as you know, for things to take traction. Um, my contact with you was and here I am sitting terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're doing great. But James, uh, to actually develop an app like that, and I'm thinking about the intricacies and you're talking about different points that you've got to create. How did the design process of that happen? Did um, you do it or did you have a team behind I, you? The, this is all me. I am AdFire. I am iMorph. I've created all of this from the website to the logo to the interface, putting the concept to the app developers for them to develop. Yeah. I put a whole brief together for them to see if it could be done. And they came back with a few issues and a few things that needed to be sorted here and there. So we had a few stumbling blocks. But yeah, for the last 18 months we've been doing it. it was the, not reason, that hard. the reason I ask you that is because I come across so many people say, hey, I've got a great idea for an app. How do you go about it? So how did you go about finding I, a developer, finding I the right person to went develop the, the internet. I just Googled and Googled and um, I got a few very scary prices to develop any kind of app before they even knew what the concept was. And I found some, some really interesting app developers, especially in Romania, who are the guys that helped me develop this. Um, and we just bounced ideas backwards and forwards, but I gave them a full working structure of how this thing should work and what it needs to be, what it needs to do with the end result. But yeah, pretty much a one-man band trying to make a niche in the Tell world. Tell us where people can find your app and what it's called and what they should be on the lookout for. Um, it's called iMorph 3D. There's a site, iMorph3D.com, which has got tutorials. It's got um, DIY projects for you yeah. to test. We're busy fixing the tutorial, so it's not <laughs> so confusing. And um, adfire.co.za is my creative media company, which I'll be using to, to get these live events out. So hopefully, 
we'll be seeing you again soon. Fascinating stuff. James Thank Sands, you we wishing much. you all the best Thank of you, luck. Aki. Thank Anamorphic you. Anamorphic 3D images, what a fascinating world in the world of advertising and something that somebody had an idea, developed it for themselves. And I must say, I'm quite blown away by the quality of these images and how realistic they look. Hope you've enjoyed that.